What's up, YouTube? It's Jackal Gold Kick, and welcome to Mr. Beef episode 16. This time, we're going to be talking about Zach G. Fuck Zach G. The reason I'm doing a video about this guy is because he did a new video about me. Now, I'm going to try to catch up everybody on who Zach G is and how we got up to this point. So, let me try to explain this the best way I can. So, Zachary is someone that Let's, let's take it all the way back to the beginning. So this is a guy that he started out on YouTube doing videos about TG Venom, aka Tyshawn Zone, making videos about him bashing him, shit like that. And then they got into a little bit of beef, and that's what he did. Then he would also make videos about Spear Dude 21 and stuff like that. And he would always just say crazy stuff about him and always have really bad takes. Um, and then eventually he said he realized the error of his ways and he became cool with TG Venom and Spear Dude 21 and me and the Flame Head 97. And me and Spear Dude 21 and the Flame Head 97, we were really good friends with, uh, well, not really, really good friends, but, you know, we were cool with Zach G at one point because he said he learned the errors of his ways. So we were cool with him for a minute online and everything was good to go. And then what happened and what broke that up and what caused us all to have issues again and what caused him to make a video, I mean, all this stuff is after we were cool for a while, he made this post on Instagram where he basically said that um, he prefers Tupac over Eminem. He doesn't like, uh, no, he says, sorry, he said that he prefers Eminem over Tupac and he doesn't like Tupac anymore. And he says he prefers Eminem over Tupac, and he's not a fan of Tupac because Tupac's music is, like, violent and talks about violent stuff, and he prefers Eminem. That's the post he made. And then Spirit of 21 mentioned that post and that situation in a video, and that's what started their problems again. And while that was happening, I was actually trying to, you know, talk to Zach G because I had him added on Messenger. I was trying to talk to him, and I was trying to you know, fix the situation. I was trying to tell him first I was civil about it. I was trying to tell Zach G, look, because Zach G, what he kept thinking in this situation is he felt like his opinion was being disrespected and he felt like Spirit of 21 was just coming at him for no reason, this and that. When the reality of the situation was, it wasn't about the fact that you didn't like Tupac or this and that. It was the fact that the take you had and the opinion you had about Tupac was factually wrong. Because Zach G, you can keep saying all you want that you can have your opinions and you can have your takes, but there, there's a time and place where an opinion and a take can be a incorrect statement you know I, I could say right now that I, I i could say like i could say some crazy shit like little pump is the best lyricist of all time and that would be factually wrong but i could just keep saying it's my opinion but then i would look stupid despite people saying that it's not right you know just like with your take you know so i was trying to talk to zach g because he 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 got mad at you know spear dude you know talking about him in the video and i was trying to talk to zach g on messenger and i was trying to tell him look it's not about the fact that you don't like tupac it's not about the fact that you said what you said it's it's why you were wrong about what you said because first of all here's what the problem was zach g with this whole situation of you saying you don't like tupac because he's you know he makes violent music and why you prefer Eminem. The first problem with that is Eminem makes violent music too. You can't say that you prefer Eminem and you don't like Tupac, but yet Eminem makes violent music and Eminem's violent music is even more crazy and violent than Tupac's music. And yet you like Eminem, but not Tupac. It makes no sense. And plus, before that post, you liked Tupac. You said he was a good rapper. You did a fucking video playing drums to one of his songs, but then you flip-flop and you say you're not a fan of Tupac anymore. And then you say you're a fan of Eminem and you prefer him because Tupac makes violent music. It's, it's fucking stupid. So first you say that you don't like Tupac anymore because he makes violent music and you prefer Eminem, even though Eminem does violent music. So that makes no sense. That makes you a hypocrite. And secondly, it's a wrong opinion. It doesn't matter if it's your opinion or if it's your take, Zach G. It's a wrong take. Yes, some, okay, listen to this, please. Some of Tupac's music is violent, but not all. All of it is. That was the problem with your post. You were making it as if Tupac's entire music was that, you know, when it fucking wasn't. It's just like, for example, with BOTDF. A lot of their music is, you know, related to sex stuff, but there are songs they make that aren't that way. You know, that would be like if I said, well, BOTDF just talks about sex stuff and that's it. Well, that's a majority of their music, but they do have different topics. It's the same thing with you, Zach G. The way you said it, you made it sound as if, well, 
all of Tupac's music is violent. You know, it would be different if maybe you said, I didn't care for this side of Tupac. I prefer this other side of Tupac. No, the way you said it, you made it as if all Tupac's music was like that. And that's why you don't like him because all his music is violent, even though Eminem has been violent in music. And like I said, it's the problem that that's not all of Tupac's music. Not of, not all of Tupac's music was violent. Only some of it was. And then so, a lot of the other music he made wasn't about the violent stuff or the graphic stuff, for whatever reason you say you don't like Tupac. You listen to his first album, he's rapping about all the stuff black people dealt with in the old days with police brutality and, you know, way back then when it was a Jim Crow era and all that shit. Tupac was talking about different stuff. He made a song about his mom. He made a song like God Bless the Dead. You know, he made a song like he he has different topics. He doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't just talk about the violent stuff or graphic stuff. He has different types of music that talks about different types of topics. So for you to say that you don't like Tupac because his music is too graphic for you is not only stupid because that's not all of his music. That's just some of it. And it makes you seem like you're generalizing it. But number two, how can you like Eminem but not like Tupac even though Eminem makes way more graphic music than Tupac? You might not. You might you don't even seem like a real Eminem fan. If you heard the album Relapse, Eminem made an entire album. Eminem's entire album Relapse is an entire horrorcore album. Have you heard that album? It's an entire horrorcore album. Tupac has not made an entire horrorcore album. I mean, come the fuck on. Those are the two reasons why that take is bad, you know? And I was trying to explain this to Zach G. I was like, look, dude, this is the problem with this situation. It's the fact that your opinion is factually wrong and that's what you're not seeing here but he couldn't see my perspective he couldn't see that point and he was like you know i just want to move on from this and you know this and that i can't remember what he said and i just got pissed off i cussed him out and i just blocked him because i was like you know what fuck you if i can't be civil going back and forth with you and try to make you see this situation from a different point of view and see why you're wrong i just i just straight up blocked the motherfucker because i was just tired of it so i blocked him you know and then he left some comment on Spear Dude's videos uh, recently. And I just, I left a comment to him saying he was ignorant and stupid because he is. You are ignorant, Zach G. It's not about having an opinion or respecting opinions. Opinions, you know, there's always opinions that can be respected, but there's also opinions and takes that maybe won't be respected if they're a wrong take. And this is the entire problem with you, Zach G. This is the entire situation with you in this whole Tupac scenario and why I called you ignorant and my issue with you and what Spear do 21 and all these other people's issues with you. It's the simple fact that it's not about that you feel this way about Tupac. It's about how you're wrong. Okay? It's about what you think is wrong. You know, you think Tupac's music is too graphic. That's why you don't like it. Factually wrong. That's not all of his music. That's some of his music, you know, and it's funny because when I explain this to him, he says, I don't care if my opinion was wrong. He said literally on messenger that he doesn't care if his opinion is wrong. It's like, oh my God, like really? And this is the same guy that gives TG Venom shit. Like when TG Venom and Spear Dude 21, I think, or maybe it was just TG Venom. Like, when TG Venom says that all Taylor Swift talks about is, like, breakups and relationships, you know, Zach G gets mad about it and says, that's not that's not all Taylor Swift talks about. You should go in-depth with her music. And yet, when we're over here telling you to go in-depth with Tupac's music, that not all of his music is about the graphic stuff, you have completely different energy. It's like, it's okay for you to give TG Venom shit, you know, and say that he should go in-depth with Taylor Swift's music and that... You know, Taylor Swift doesn't, doesn't just talk about breakups, but yet when we're trying to tell you that Tupac just doesn't talk about graphic stuff and he has other topics, you don't want to hear a word we have to say. You don't want to even think about it for a minute. You just want to be ignorant and say, this is my opinion. This is what I think, and I don't care if it's factually wrong. It's like, fuck you, Zach G. Fuck you. You had a chance to have a nice future. You know, especially on YouTube, you were cool with me and the Flame 97 Spear dude, but then you had to act all crazy. You know, even like even when me and TG Venom were beefing, this guy turned on TG Venom so quick. He's also a flip flopper. You know, when me and TG Venom had our problems, we were beefing with each other. He turned fucking Zach G turned on TG Venom so fucking quickly. He turned on that guy quick as shit. And that's some flip flopping shit because, you know, Spear dude 21 and the Flame Head 97 you know, Austin Hodder, a lot of people, they didn't, they didn't choose sides. You know, there's a lot of people out there that didn't choose sides, you know, when me and TG Venom were beefing, that's the best way to approach it. You know, 
is not to choose sides, especially if you're cool with both people. But Zach G didn't do that. He turned on TG Venom when me and him were beefing. That just shows you the kind of person Zach G is, you know. And that's my issue with you, Zach G. That's everybody's issue with you. And like I said, for the last time, Zach G, it's not about having a different opinion or us getting mad at your opinion. It's a simple fact that when you have certain takes of certain opinions like this one, it's a simple fact that it's a wrong take. You can't generalize and say, I don't like Tupac because his music is graphic or whatever. When some of his music is not graphic. Yes, he has graphic music, but not all of his music is graphic. And that's what you need to understand, Zach G, is that some of Tupac's music is graphic, but some of it isn't. And that's what you can't seem to realize and what was wrong about your take. And also the fact that you can say you like Eminem in the same sentence, but say you don't like Tupac, even though Eminem's music is more graphic than Tupac's, and he has an entire horrorcore album called Relapse. Has Tupac made a horrorcore album? No. Eminem's more graphic than fucking Tupac. Eminem, like, granted, he, he's cool with his mom now, but Eminem dissed his mom back in the day. And it's funny, because I remember this guy, like, Zach G had a video from the past where he trashed on Eminem, but now he's a fan of Eminem. This guy's a flip-flopper. He's an idiot. He's ignorant. Fuck Zach G. This is Mr. Beef episode 16. I just, I had to do a video response to Zach G, because he did a video on me mentioning me you know he was doing a video about me his videos are honestly boring especially that video he did on me it was fucking boring your videos are so boring to watch because they're so long you don't have any energy you don't even know how to make a proper video you're looking around a lot you're just such a fucking boring person to watch you are such a boring person to watch. And just the rest of the shit you say is stupid. Like, like you claim Speardo21 and TG Venom are only like rant YouTubers. They only make negative videos, even though they've made different types of videos. I mean, I seem to remember some videos TG Venom would make where he would like talk about, um, you know, he would give his honest thoughts on Elvis Presley. You know, Speardo21 is different types of videos. He, does, he doesn't just do rant stuff. So you need to get that stupid shit out of your head. So yeah, fuck you, Zach G. You're a lame. Your videos are boring. The link in the description will be to Zach G's video about me if you haven't seen it, people. Um, I just had to do this video on him. I had to say something because this guy is just fucking stupid. And he just never learns and never gets it. You know what, Zach G? I'm going to propose this to you. Instead of us doing videos back and forth, I got a proposition for you. How about you get on something live with me? How about me and you... Get on a live thing. Let's get on a live call on Instagram or Messenger or Discord. Let's get on something live and let's actually hash this shit out, you know, because I'm not going to sit here and do videos back and forth with your ass. Maybe I will. I don't know. But let's do something live, you know, so we can really get to the root of the problem and really fix this, you know. I have that proposition for you. Maybe, hey, maybe if Spirit of 21 and Flame has interested, maybe we could get them on a live, you know, all three of us on a live towards you. And let's really hash this out because Zach G, you're just, you're, you're just a stupid person, you know. You have this dumb take about Tupac. You generalize all his music as being graphic, even though not all of his music is graphic. It was how you worded it. It does not fucking matter that it's your opinion and your take. A fucking opinion and take can be wrong, jackass. A fucking opinion can be wrong. A take can be fucking wrong. I could say in a video that Little Pump is the best lyricist of all time, but that doesn't mean it's fucking true. Because it could be factually wrong, which it is factually wrong if I were to say that. And I would look stupid if people proved me wrong, but then I still said, it's just my opinion and my take. You even admitted to me on Messenger that you had a wrong opinion. So why would you want to stick with that? It makes no sense. Yeah, fuck Zach G. I said everything I needed to say, Mr. Beef episode 16. Fuck you, Zach G, you idiot. You know, you had a chance to be cool with all of us and you screwed it up. You know, that, that stupid post you made on Instagram. You know, and like I said, I tried to talk to Zach G on Messenger. I tried to really explain things to him. He just wasn't getting it. Like I said, Zach G, it's not about opinions or anything like that. It's just a simple fact that your take on Tupac was not only hypocritical because you like Eminem, who's also graphic, but you generalized all of Tupac's music as being graphic when not all of it is. Some of it isn't about being graphic, you know, and it also makes you a flip flopper because you used to like Tupac. Now you don't because he's graphic. You like him and him now, but yet I remember a video a while ago where you bashed him and said he just this is his mom, you know? This is the same guy that said shit about fucking hip-hop sucking and crap like that. Now he's a fan of some rap. Get the fuck out of here. This is the same guy that trashed on TG Venom. Then he was cool with him. And then when I beef with TG Venom, then he turned his back on TG Venom. Like, fuck you. Fuck Zach G. That's all I got to say about this shit. Fuck this motherfucker, man. I, I, I don't think this guy will ever get it, and I don't think he will ever learn. 
You know, this is why me and Spear Dude Twenty One and TG Venom and Flamehead and even people that watch their channels and watch my channel. It's why us overall as a community, even though me and TG Venom aren't tight like that, you know, we're neutral. Even people on his side and my side, there's a reason why none of them and all of us why we don't fuck with you and why we don't like you. It's because you have these terrible takes that are not backed up by facts you have terrible awful takes and opinions like the one i'm talking about that make no sense and the problem is you can't realize when you're wrong and you can't admit when you're wrong and learn from these mistakes and learn from when you're not making sense and when your stuff just isn't lining up with facts and that's the problem we have with you you constantly make videos about tg venom spear do 21 and you can't realize when you're wrong and try to be mature and realize when you're wrong about situations. That's why so many people like me and others have issues with you, man. That's all I got to say. Fuck Zach G.